a basic model of human experience, um, we have our attentional system, right? So our attentional mm -hmm. system right now is what's um, listening and attending to to each other. And to the listeners who are listening right now, their attentional system is that part of their mind that is able to follow and attend and to separate um, out information out from the field, right? And the attentional system is at the very center of the ego structure. So the ego structure is maintained by the attention. In fact, um, you can think of the attention as the fusion with the attention, which is what the source of the sense of being separate from the wider field, right? That wider field, mm. if we're constantly pulled into to an attention, then we're not able to experience or we're not we're not as aware as we could, but could be of that wider field. Now, um, awareness, on the other hand, is is global, right? So the difference between attention and awareness is that right now, as we're looking at each other, our attention can can see each other's faces on the screen, but our awareness can look at the whole room, right? And so awareness is always like three hundred and sixty, right? It's always on. But it doesn't necessarily mean that we're functioning that way, right? So most people actually are functioning inside of their mm. attentional system the whole time. And they never are taking in the whole field. I mean, and that's one of the things that happens with plant yeah. medicine. Is you get flooded with information, <laughs> which, which basically pops the attentional system. And all of that information is flowing through and it kind of opens up the aperture of the ego, right? You can think of the attentional system as the ego aperture. And for most people, it's like, it's a pretty small sphincter, 